I'm Lisa from Coffee Talk on the red carpet for Night of 100 Stars. Everybody's inside watching the Oscars, and I got to talk with CCH Pounder, amazing woman. It's wonderful, and I've seen you in so many things. This is great. This has been a big year for the movies, don't you think? Um, not really, but there have been some marvelous, diverse things, silent movies, uh, ensemble casts, uh, wonderful family films, so I think that's probably the most interesting thing and I think we're probably going to become more sort of European thinking and give the American public a little more variety as opposed to this doesn't sell and that doesn't sell. So I think we might be off to a really good start. You always play very smart, savvy women. Who do you think was will make, win for Best Actress? Is it somebody that came off with that smart, savvy acting? Well, this is a really tough year because I thought Meryl Streep was in a crappy movie and did an amazing job. And I say a crappy movie in the sense that it was not well executed, but it was a wonderful performance by Meryl. Um, there were two incredibly fantastic understated performances, Gary Oldham and Tinker Taylor and Viola Davis in The Help. So um, we're kind of so accustomed to flash and bang, it would be wonderful to know that that small minimalist type of work is also greatly appreciated. There's lots of choices, The Young Lady and The Descendants. Um, Oh, what a fantastically mature performance for a kid. I was just so proud of her. So, so is this your first time at Norby's party? No, I've actually been here quite a bit. Um, if I'm in town, because I shoot now in Canada, um, so um, if I'm in town, Norby would be the place for me to come to. Except, of course, um, I did go for Avatar. I did actually go to the Oscars on Avatar's year, which was really exciting. Otherwise, yeah. What causes do you work for that you're passionate about? Because I know you're, you're into philanthropy, a lot of people in this business are. What, what, is, what calls to you? What's your passion? Well, I have been working for many years now, I would say in the double decades at this point, with orphans from around the world, um, particularly those impacted by AIDS. I've worked for Artists for New South Africa for many, many years, even before um, Mandela was president, and we was at that time Artists for a Free South Africa. I now work with the African Millennium Foundation, which works with orphans, um, very similar to our foster care system when you have no place to go after you're 18. And so we are trying to build a foundation for them that gives them skills and a, a way of life um, after their 18th birthday. So we get in there as early as we can. They can be seven or eight years old. Sometimes the head of the household is 12 or sometimes eight and they're the only kids left in their house and they stay in their house, but then we find a place for them to be. So we're working for the first time on a sustainable village that could um, nurture, give them skills, give them an education, a hospital, and um, we're hoping that it's going to take off and work around the world if, uh, if this first one works. Oh, that's such important work. I, I applaud you for doing that. That's wonderful. I'm a big sister with Big Brothers Big Sisters, so I see a, a lot of need in the foster care system. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm sure that you're doing just as marvelous a job with what you, the people that you have to handle. We all have to do our part, you know. And you know what? Everybody thinks that we have to do our part and it's a sacrifice. And you get so much more from it that um, the more I talk to people, um, I think we get more people on board. No matter what the choice of charity is uh, or service is, and all of those people are much better for it. So I've certainly been vastly improved, and I'm not kidding, vastly improved because of the work that I've been doing.